Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new episode of Taste Test right here on youtube.com slash Rex where I try the weird, the wonderful, and the limited edition. Today we have a double feature that is kind of weird but also might be kind of wonderful. I'll tell you about that in just a moment right after I through, run you through our regular rigmarole. Every Saturday I try stuff here on the channel. If you want to be sure to be caught up on that, you can scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell, and you'll be notified when I post new videos. If there's something you'd like to see on the show, something you think I'm missing, something you think it's cool, or you just want to watch me be miserable for 15 minutes a day, or a week, I guess, uh, leave it down in the comments below. Tell me what it is, where to find it, and you might see it on a future episode of Taste Test. Thanks so much for watching. And today, we're going to jump into our uh, kind of weird, maybe wonderful double feature. These are Pillsbury cookies. Uh, these were the two that I saw online when I was looking around at the many websites or not websites, Instagram accounts that I follow that are like junk pickers or candy hunting or snack finders. <laughs> it's like, oh, good. The more dangerous, the, those are like the most dangerous websites in the world for me to follow. Um, these were the two that I saw. I don't know if Pillsbury is doing all of their cookies are like new and this is like a new venture for them or if this was like a specialty thing. But these were the two that I saw and these were the two that I grabbed. I saw there were more on the shelf, but I was kind of just like, eh, hey, whatever. I'm going to have some fun trying. That's right. Lucky Charms cookies and Cinnamon Toast Crunch cookies cookies with the loudest packaging possible. Now, those of you who might know me might know that I eat cereal, a lot of cereal, like every day. Not as much of an exaggeration as you might think it is. It's borderline unhealthy, probably actually just statistically generally unhealthy, but it doesn't matter, okay? Doesn't matter. The point is, I'm a cereal expert, okay? That's where I, some people are experts with like cereal killers. I'm an expert with just regular cereal, Normal people things, okay? Don't understand true crime. Don't know why people care about it. They care a lot about cereal. So let's dive in and try these today. We have the Lucky Charms. We have the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I prefer Cinnamon Toast Crunch to Lucky Charms. So we're going to start with the Lucky Charms. It looks like they have the um, the Lucky Charms uh, marshmallows in them. So that should be kind of interesting. I'm kind of hoping that it tastes like Lucky Charms cereal. Like, it gives you that, like, same thing. It doesn't have to have, like, the milk flavor to it, but if if you tried, like, a dry handful of Lucky Charms and then ate this, I'm hoping that that's the taste that you get. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch is going to be a little bit different, and I'm sure I'll talk about that ad nauseum when we get to it. I love these resealable packages. I love it. That smells like Lucky Charms. That is an assault of, like, the marshmallows. You get uh, three little rows here of the cookies pull one right from the middle it says try them warm i will say this is better packaging than oreos because the i think the stickers or the the tape on the outside is wider because i bought double stuff oreos the other day right and i was trying to like get keep the flavor seal in there so they didn't get stale and it like kind of swamps in there and you miss it and then there's like some air getting in there and you're like oh those cookies are wasted so you're throwing them in the garbage it's a disaster. This went right back on perfectly fine and feels like it's actually pretty, it's sealed pretty well. So good job, Pillsbury. If nothing else, you got that right. Yeah, that is so much marshmallow right there. Hmm. They're okay. They're soft, which is good. Makes me excited for the next one that we're going to try. But I don't love the marshmallow flavor in conjunction with the regular cookie flavor. And the marshmallows feel like they're weirdly stiff. And noticing now that um, there's a weird kind of like odd texture on my mouth that I'm not a super big fan of either. Like it's coated in just something... something is off. Maybe it's the marshmallows. It feels like some of the bad like donuts that I have where it's just like, oh, I don't I don't like this feeling and I don't want to eat anymore. I mean it, it smells fine. It has like it has a fine chewiness to the cookie, but like the marshmallows actually come in and, and ruin it. I don't think it tastes like a handful. I think it's just like the regular Pillsbury cookie mixed with the uh the specifically marshmallows in 
in there. So maybe my expectations were set a little bit incorrectly with what I wanted. But hey, you know what? Sometimes that's how it goes. Cinnamon Toast Crunch here. I don't think this is a cereal that really has much of a flavor outside of cinnamon. I don't because it's like that's the whole thing. Whereas something like Lucky Charms uh, has the cereal and the marshmallows. There's kind of two different flavor profiles there. So I'm actually excited to see what this is here. Uh, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's going to be hopefully really cinnamony. I don't know what the pockets are. Uh, I was kind of looking for like... Um, let's see. Okay, well... I was hoping it would say like vanilla cookies or something with cinnamon dust in like... What is the... Specifically what is in the thing. But that's fine. Resealable. Resealable. The cookies are soft. Damn it. That is a solid scent coming out of this one. Big fan of that. Again, oh, seals beautifully. That's the best thing about these cookies. Like it tastes like garbage and I'm still going to give them an eight for their packaging. I'm just kidding. I don't actually do that. No ratings here. Is it just pockets of cinnamon? Kind of weird. <laughs> I think it's so I think it's the marshmallow that left the weird the weird texture in my mouth because this one doesn't seem to be giving me that. I mean, if you like cinnamon and cookies, it's fine. I don't know. I think we're squarely in the... I would eat these if these were available. Eat this if, I, if it were available. But I wouldn't go out of my way to buy them again. They're fine. I like cinnamon as a flavor. But... Mm -hmm. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like there's any sort of unique flavor. It feels like if you pulled Cinnamon Toast Crunch, that label off of this package, you would be fine. Yeah, I don't think you would even notice a difference. Just two blind cookies. One of them's regular. One of them's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it makes a difference. So there you go. Uh, they were weird, but they weren't necessarily wonderful. Let me know down in the comments below if you tried them and what you thought of them, or if there's any other flavors of these that you maybe think I should try. Their packaging is fantastic. I think it holds the, the seal holds really well, and there's enough sticky like tape on the outside to like cover it effectively. I don't know why that's the part of this that I'm walking away from being like rants, like the rave. The rave isn't the cookies and the softness and the texture or whatever. The rave is like, they mastered the resealable packaging, everyone. <laughs> this is a miracle. It's amazing. Other than that, the cookies are mediocre. But let me know if you tried them down in the comments below. If there's something you'd like to see, you can also let me know down in the comments uh, what it is and where to find it. And then, as always, make sure you've subscribed, rang the bell, so you might see that future suggestion on a future episode of Taste Test. Current suggestion on a future episode of Taste Test right here on youtube.com slash Shaunasaurus Rex. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back next week with another weird, wonderful, or limited edition item. Until then, I appreciate your view, and we'll see you next time. Bon appetit. That's what I do. That thing. <laughs>